So this brake pedal right here, it's really doing some odd things. Just sitting there, it just bounces around and jiggles around and stuff. I can feel it and it's pretty loose and all. I really haven't run into this problem before. So what we're gonna do is climb up underneath this 75 uh, square body today and see what's going on with the brake pedal. So if you got this problem, you might wanna stick around, see what's going on. If you don't have this problem, stick around anyway. All right, so this truck had air conditioning and the air conditioning has this duct that goes underneath the uh, dash here. So we're gonna need to get that out of the way. It really only has one screw holding it on. The other sides, they just kind of uh, plug into the hole that it goes in there. So I'm just gonna get this guy out of here and then we'll get a camera up on this uh, brake pedal here and we'll show you what's going on. Uh, first, I'm going to need to take this little bracket off right here, and this bracket is just protecting these clips that are holding onto the shaft right here, and this other end is where the brake light switch button is. So I'll get this off. Once I do that, I'll be able to get the clips off of here, and then up on top right here, you can see there's a bolt uh, with a uh, nut on there. That's a crush nut right there, so it doesn't have any lock washers on it or anything. So I'm, let me get this off, and we'll take a look at what that clip looks like, and we'll see how it comes off all right so this is a really simple little clip right here so we're just going to take this off sometimes i can grab it from the front sometimes i got to push it back from the back really tight down here of course so it's a little bit tough working it upside down and backwards uh there we go got a little uh washer on here make sure that doesn't go anywhere and then I can just slip this guy off right like that. And we're ready to go. Now they got this washer on the back. These are funny little washers right here. These are to take up um, space, so to speak. If there's any gaps in there, you notice that this is uh, warped, if you will. I don't know if the camera picks that up or not. But that you don't want to lose because if you do, then you'll have extra slop in that. So keep all that stuff from going anywhere. Now that that's all off, I can take this bolt off on the top. That one's going to be really tough to take off because it's been in there for a long time. It's a crush nut and everything. So let's see what kind of luck we get with it. All right, I can slide my bolt out. And now the pedal should come out. There we go. All right, let's take a look at what we got out top here. And one thing I want to point out right now is that this bolt right here, uh, what you're going to want to do is put the nut back on it so that it stays in there. And the reason that you're doing that is because if you forget and you put your brake pedal up there, you are not going to be able to get that bolt back in there because your steering column is right here. So make sure you put your nut on there so you don't forget to have it on there when you reinstall it or you got to take it all back out again. Now that I've got this apart, you can see that what we've got going on is there's a shaft that's in the middle right here. And then there are these little plastic um, bushings, bearings, and they're just so old and tired and worn out that, uh, that it's just got too much slop in there. So let me see what I'm going to do about that and I'll be right back. Okay, so you know how I'm always telling you to think about your project and get all your parts lined up and stuff like that? Yeah, I didn't do that. Um, these are available. These are just little bushings that keep your brake pedal in place and, and they're just worn out. That's all there is to it. So um, I'm not going to have time to get them and wait for them and yaka yaka. So what I'm going to do is just um, punt. And what I've done in that case is I've just taken some electrical tape and wrapped it around and then trial fitted it in the hole a few times to see if it was um, the right size and such. And the reason I did that partly too is that the edges of this little washer here, they're uh, getting broken and they might come all the way in or something. So I put it right at the edge so that'll stop that from going in. They won't fall out of course, but uh, then what I'll do is I'll get some grease on here too, because there wasn't any grease on these at all. It sounded like there was a, a family of mice in there holding choir practice every time I stepped on the brakes or drove down the road. Uh, I'll also be putting a little bit of grease on my 
uh, pivot shaft right there for the brake pedal. And then hopefully everything's going to be nice and quiet. So assembly is just going to be the same thing. Going to go be right back in like it went in. Uh, just make sure you got this bolt in or you're going to have to do it all twice. So now the um, bushings and the shaft that's in there has a bunch of grease on it, but you gotta remember that this bolt is riding right on that shaft that's in there too. So we gotta get grease on it also. And we're gonna get really fat and crazy about the grease too. That might be a bit much. All right, so I'm gonna climb back underneath there and put it all back in. Wish me luck. All right, now before I bolt in my shaft the rest of the way, I want to connect everything. It's just easier if everything's bolted in tight. It's, you know, makes it more difficult. So um, I'm going to be putting this uh, push rod back on the brake pedal. When you're doing that, don't forget this funny little warped uh, washer right here. That's going to go on there first. Like I said, that takes care of any uh, space that might be in things. So that's on there. I don't have to worry about it going anywhere really. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the clip in there and all, and then I'll get the bolt on the top. All right, so now I'm just going to put the bolt up on the top here now that we've got that all going on. Now, keep in mind, again, this is a crush nut. I don't know if you pick it up on camera, but they just kind of crush it a little bit, and that makes it so it won't come back off again. Keep in mind that when we're tightening this down, you only have plastic bushings in there. So we are going to get this tight, but we're not going to put 100 pounds of pressure on it or anything like that. All right, so now I'll go ahead and put this bracket back on. Again, uh, you want to have this bolt all the, already in because you can see that if it was not in there, there's no way to put it in after the fact. And now once this is on, you're going to need to double check your brake light switch right here because you can't jostle it or knock it out or anything like that. It is just really a small plastic piece, so you can break it when you're taking this in and out. If you're already having problems with your brake light switch, kill two birds and get this one done at the same time because you can see it's a real drag getting up underneath here. Now what happens on your brake light switch, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up or not, but when this is pressed in, it turns your brake lights off. When it comes all the way out, it'll turn your brake lights on. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that when the pedal is all the way back, that this button right here is being pushed sufficiently in. So right now you can kind of see where when I'm doing this, it barely pushes in at all. So it's uh, too far back and I'm going to want to bring it forward some. Now in this particular style, uh, you're make a truck, it's nice and easy because they have this kind of um, holder back here where you can just push it in and out. But a lot of times you have to bolt these in and out and that is uh, more of a problem. So now once you get it extended out a little bit, push your pedal back down and make sure that the button can come all the way out again when you're pushing on your brakes or your brake light won't come on. So uh, I got a buddy back there double checking to see what's going on. How are we looking? Shorten it up a little bit. Shorten it up a little more? Yeah. What, is it coming on too late or too early? Yeah, too late. Oh, too late, okay. All right, so too late, we'll move it back a little bit. How's that? Let it up. Up. That's good. Yeah, okay, we're good? Like it. All right. All right, everything's looking good while you're down here already. Maybe take a look at your wiring, make sure everything's all copacetic, zip tie things up, what have you. But it looks like we're about done for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, air conditioning thing back in and we'll be all ready to rock and roll. My name's David Welch. I'm at Brothers Tech Center every single week, climbing up underneath something to get parts on so you make sure they fit when they get there. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel because, you know, I beg you every single time. It's about time you subscribe. You already subscribed? Subscribe again. I think you can do that, right?